Okay. Why is it when someone is sick, you automatically start feeling sick? You still feel like throwing up? I'm sorry, buddy. It is now time to apply for the Disney College program. The doorbell just rang, and there was a pizza there. And then it rang again, and there was two pizzas there. And now it just rang again. 35 boxes of pizza. What are we supposed to do with all this? Okay, Canyon. Vivian has something so special she wants to tell you. I have two wiggly teeth, and they're the two on the front. Like these two? Uh huh. Bottom, two teeth on the front. Wow. So they're the same ones that Canyon lost? That's so cool. I have a wiggly tooth up here. What happens when you lose a tooth? You get The Tooth Fairy comes and brings you toys or money. You are so right. And then what happens to your mouth after you lose a tooth? I have another. Another what? Tooth. And the adult tooth grows in, huh? Uh-huh. You guys are getting way too grown up. We stop? Yeah. Okay. This is happening. Are you serious? Yeah. Where is it? In the bathroom. Is it okay, buddy? Here, buddy, you want this one? Why is it when someone is sick, you automatically start feeling sick? I don't know. I know, right? Sympathy, I don't know. Even if they're not really sick, it's just like you hear of it and it's all of a sudden you feel. You know it? Like, oh, I could be sick. Mm -hmm. Poor Canyon. In Disneyland, we told him, don't touch the ground, don't lay on the ground, don't touch the chains, don't touch your mouth, don't touch the garbage. All of those things to try to keep away from germs. And now that he's done all of those things, he's getting, he's sick and he's not very happy about it. Hopefully he can correlate the two next time we go somewhere to remember, don't touch the floors, don't touch the garbages, don't touch all those things. It could be the same thing, but. Here, buddy, you gotta make sure you drink little sips and drink it slow, okay? Because if you drink it fast, it'll make you throw up. Keep it on that desk. Okay, I will. <clears throat> you still feel like throwing up? A little. Okay. I'm sorry, buddy. Kenyon tried to do some of his schoolwork since he's homeschooled and he can do work, but he was laying here and it was just. The focus was hurting his head and making him feel like he was going to throw up. So he's just going to rest for a while and we'll work on schoolwork a little later when he doesn't feel so yucky. Kenyon did throw up, so I'm going to give him a little bit of this body armor with electrolytes and a little bit of sugar and see if that will help him to feel better. It's warm, so it's not cold, so it won't hit his tummy and make him want to throw up. The cold does that. When you have an upset stomach and you put the cold in and it hits your tummy, it makes you throw up more. I don't know why that is. Maybe just the, it's already upset and then the different temperatures. So we'll try a little bit of this just to help him to keep some hydration in. So I have some things to do, but I'll come in in a little bit, okay? Okay. Poor little guy. I hate when kids are sick and he is also the cutest little thing ever. He's just like, will you stay here? I'll be right here till you come back. Oh, I love that sweet guy. <clears throat> it's happening, guys. Big things are happening right now. I just got an email this morning that says it is now time to apply for the Disney College program. And since I go to college, I am now eligible to do it. So I'm applying for the Disney College program. And it starts in October. The college program starts in October, guys. That's next month. I'm so happy. Okay, let's get this done. Yesterday, Asbury didn't finish with his schoolwork until 6.30 p.m. He had a few classes or a few assignments to make up from when we were gone that he didn't get finished before we left and then his yesterday's assignments and he got a little distracted throughout the day. 
but today he was the first one done with all of his stuff. He does have a class a little later, but all of his schoolwork is finished and he gets to play. Hey bud, you put things away and then come back for more. You don't set them all over the counter, okay? This is also, he's learning how to unload the dishwasher. Usually he helps load, but today he's unloading. So. Hey buddy. How are you doing? Good. You're feeling better? Yeah, I'm I do. I'm so glad. Um, are you ready to finish up your schoolwork? I'm doing that. Okay, I'll see if your class is ready. The doorbell just rang, and there was a pizza there. And then it rang again, and there was two pizzas there. And now it just rang again. Five pizzas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pizzas. What is going on? Gigo! What? Come here! Holy pizzas! <laughs> Someone left eight pizzas on our doorstep. I want some. I don't know where they came from. I don't know if we can eat them. Okay. All the pizzas came from there. Uh-huh. Now two of the pizzas came from there. Are they really pizza? Let's look inside. Yeah, that one's really pizza. Let's see what the bottom is. There's over here. Yeah, it's really pizza. What I in the heck? Pizza. They just keep appearing everywhere. I think they're just give people are just giving up pepperoni pizzas. Well, I already looked at these ones, but why would people just give us pepperoni pizza? There's pizza over there. What? What the heck? What there is, is more pizza. What is happening here? <laughs> oh. Ah, more pizza! That, that, dog, that, that, go, go, go. I know who's giving us to it. Who? Branson and Maka. Really? You better pick up those because pizzas before Charlie and Grizz eat them. More pepperoni? What? Is Dad here? No, Dad went to the store with Drake. So it's just me and you here? Yeah. We have to eat 16 pizzas? This is weird. It is weird. This is so weird. <laughs> what the? I did. Pizza! Pepperoni pizza! I just kicked a box to get it out of my way and it's full of pizza. Um, look at the table. Holy crap, are you serious? Prince and Maka are giving us pizza. You better bring in that pizza from well, outside. Don't feel good. I just kicked the box to get it out of the way. I'm like, who left that there? It's like, oh, like. You better grab it. What the crap is happening? I don't know. We got a problem in here. Oh. Come on, go. Something just came on the intercom. Are you hearing this, Drake? Girls' room, toys room. Girls' room, toys room. What the heck? 18 pizzas. Pizza. There's more pizza. What? What? Twenty pizzas. Duh. What the? What was that? What did it say? Ken? Branson just said mom's in dad's room. We better go check it out. Okay. Holy pizzas! <laughs> what? Whoa. <laughs> that is crazy, Canyon. What does that put the pizza count up to? That's 28 boxes of pizza. Eight? No, I didn't. It's a linen tower of pizzas. Canyon, the doorbell. the doorbell just rang. 28 boxes of pizza. The doorbell just rang. I can see some pizza. Stop it! <laughs> Stop it! Holy crap. What? Oh my grandson. Oh, I love Little Caesars. 35. Man, That's 35. Gonna... 35 boxes of pizza. What are we supposed to do with all this? Are these $5 pizzas? Yeah. What does $5 pizza cost these days? $5.99. That's two hundred over $200 in pizza. Whoa. That's over $200 in pizza. Benson, stop buying pizza! 
Oh, 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 oh. We brought you a pizza. Yeah, just, just a pizza. <laughs> That's $220 of pizza. You guys are clients. We actually, you guys are it's actually 40. We actually bought 40, but there was a couple kids that walked up. They're like, oh, you have a pizza party? Like, they were teen teenagers, probably, what, 10th grade? Yeah. They were like, kind of. Do you want some free pizza? And they're like, oh, yeah, sure, whatever. And so we went up and we gave it to them. They're like, dude, you're serious. And then we gave a couple of wrecks. <laughs> Yeah. But, uh, what are we gonna do with this? Eat it. We're gonna eat it. Okay. That's the second part of the video. To see who can eat the most pizza. Oh. Game on. I'm gonna win. <laughs> Greg's here. Greg's here. You know how you threw in the pizza um, yeah. from the back door? Mm -hmm. I knew it was your hand because it wasn't. It wasn't gray, like Drake's hand. And it wouldn't be um, dad's hand because dad's hand is um, big and ugly. What does Branson's hand look like? A smooth hand. What does my, my hand look like? <laughs> um, a smooth hand that, that's I not can get you great. Good one. <laughs> so then it's, it's so not great. Then it's not great. <laughs> <laughs> At least my hands aren't big and ugly. Yeah. Tell dad what his hands look like. Daddy, your hands look like big and ugly hands. <laughs> ugly? Big oh. and ugly. And what do Drake's hands look like? Little gray hands. And what about Branson's? Smooth and and um white hands. What does that mean? Mine are, mine are big and ugly? Oh, ugly. Ugly. Yeah, ugly. 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 What are you talking about? Well, they're, your palms are kind of ugly. Why are they ugly? What's up, yo? Huh, so, how fast could you get to Michael's uh, in your truck? Why? Like right now. What happened? Um. I bought a big giant canvas so I could do your Pinocchio painting, uh -huh. but it doesn't fit in my car. <laughs> it's too big. Okay, so Allie really wanted to paint a mural on the wall for me um, of Pinocchio. It's the same mural that's on the wall in the Pinocchio ride. And anyway, she wants to paint it. And I'm like, if you paint it on the wall and we end up moving, then it stays there. Like, what are we going to do about that? And she's like, well, maybe I could just do it on a canvas. And I'm like, oh, that's. I love that idea. So she's going to create the wall, the one place that I love most in Disneyland. Um, oh, gotcha. The wall, the mural wall, as you get on the ride at Disneyland. She's going to create that for me. So, uh, and she can't fit in her car. <laughs> Whoa. Where are we putting this thing? I have no clue. I don't even know why I'm gonna paint it. That is huge. Mm -hmm. Canyon thinks you should put it in your bathroom. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hey, guess what? Dinner's already ready. What is it? Pizza? Shut up! <laughs> I was like, can I get this piece of pizza over here? Can I eat one? Yeah. Oh my god! Eat as much as you want. Oh my we god. just have to save one box for Danielle because she's gonna use it to respond to the boy that asked her to homecoming. It's literally hot. Say, so. I know. This is so awesome! <laughs> 40 like... boxes of pizza Branson brought over. Oh. <laughs> well, did you could do it. You got it. Make sure to knock really loud though. I'll just kick down the door. No. <laughs> just really scared. drop and run. Dude, the longer you stand out here, the more he's gonna notice. Yes. Thank you, random person, for honking. Now we really run, 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 run. Boo! You did it. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go around the block. We're gonna do another drive-by, okay. but it's dark, so he can't see us. <laughs> 
I've never done that in my entire life. That's terrifying. It's fun though. You've done it for me. I don't know. I can't decide yet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, I'm Quali, and I yeah. am a nice guy until someone kicks me. <laughs> 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 Okay, Coley. It, Do it again. It, no, no, Coley's got to go to sleep now. He's good. He's a good guy. He's right there. He's good. Good night. Good night. Okay. Okay. For reals though, how you feeling, Canyon? Good. Well, I hope nobody else gets sick, and I hope Canyon continues to stay feeling better. Yeah. Because that was not fun today, right, Canyon? He threw up how many times? At three least, times. At least three times. Yeah. Right. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. We. Love you. So never forget that. You, you are, are worth, worth it. it. Happy birthday. Bye, guys. Happy birthday, guys. Happy, holy, holy long hair. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.